I think I'm gonna start a timer to literally see exactly how long it takes. It's the sweat of my dreams from this point forward. As soon as I like came up with the concept of it, I was like, I need that. I just do. If you guys want me to make a pattern for it, I can make an official pattern. I would just need like crochet testers because I don't know anybody that crochets. So I would need for like sizing wise and maybe a style guide. I'd want to do like a whole production for it, but I don't know anybody that crochets so I can really only make it for my size. So if you crochet and you have like a public crochet account on like Instagram or YouTube um, and you think I should make this pattern, comment down below your Instagram handle and then I can DM you um, the pattern when it's done if you want. And we can make like a lookbook video for my YouTube channel. I don't have like a public crochet account on Instagram. Maybe I should get one. I just crochet for fun. Time for the color change. Annoying. I really hope I can finish this today. At least the back panel part of it. This is the color I'm using for the sleeves. All right, y'all, I thought I would talk for, with you for a bit while I start crocheting. Um, I am working on my dream cardigan. I'm so excited for it. If you want to see me make this, I'm currently working on a video. And if you want to see where I'm at right now in it live, if I haven't uploaded this video yet, then you can always check out my shorts. I have shorts where I've been growing them daily. Well, every day I work on one of these projects and i update you guys not that anybody asked i just nodded this up like oh all right y'all i started this timer this project is really soothing for me i am just going through this trying to make it look as clean as possible i really want to like finish this before school starts on wednesday thursday on the 24th wednesday that's my first day of class. I don't want to wear this on the first day of class, but like it would be nice to have it ready for that period of time, I think. I'm not really looking forward to going back to school. For some reason, I'm super duper stressed about it. I'm not typically stressed about going to school like this. Like I've been losing sleep. Like I'm very, maybe the first semester went worse than I thought, but I did pretty well. Academically, I did very well. Nine, 10, I'm like, very anxious. I got like a knot in my stomach. I'm not looking forward to going back. I don't know why. 11, 12, 13. Okay, cool. Now we switch to red. Sorry, I like to say what I'm doing out loud that way. <laughs> I don't forget because I will forget. And I'll check like 12 times because I won't remember. I have to go school shopping. Like I have to get n more notebooks and dividers. I have to like organize the physical things I have, I should go on. My school uses Brightspace instead of Blackboard. So I have to go on Brightspace, see what PowerPoint slides are uploaded, download and print them off, probably from school. I live like a walkable distance from one of the campuses and then like start organizing for real. Oh, I just don't want to fight red. One, I hope I finished with that. I have no idea what I was saying. Something about school. <laughs> like get in the mindset so I could start the school year, which starts this week successfully, even no matter how bad I don't actually want to do it. I will not worry about it though. This is a master's program and I actually really like the learning part. It's like the social aspect that drives me insane. It's not necessarily the, it's not a safe space for me, but it's okay because it's, it's temporary and it's like, I don't know how many spaces in the professional world are going to be a safe space for me, if I'm being honest. So, I'm just going to have to get over it. I'm going on a trip, guys. I'm so excited. Not soon, soon, but like in the near future soon. Like soon enough for me to get excited about it. I'm really excited. I haven't been on like a trip of any kind in over a year, almost a year. I went to Disney World um, last April. The red and yellow together kind of reminds me of McDonald's. This is my project journal. I write just about everything that I want to do in here. Um, this one is specific for like YouTube related projects, but I have some things that I think would be 
fun to do on YouTube. So I'm gonna take a post-it and I'm just gonna write what I think this project will be. So I just found out last night, I don't know why I sound like that, but I just found out last night that Wizards of Waverly Place is coming back and I'm super excited for that. I wanna make like an Alex Russo or Harper Finkel, I think inspired um, sweater, Alex Russo. If I did the Harper one, I would do like, she has like this rubber ducky dress. I think it's a dress, but I'd make it into a sweater. I think it's really, really cute. And then I, I don't know what I would do if I were to do Alex, but I'm sure there's like an iconic moment where she's wearing something I can make. So I would do the rubber ducky one. I wouldn't make, I wouldn't use actual rubber duckies, but I have like this really pretty yellow color. And I would just do what I did with the cloud sweater. If you haven't seen that short, and I would just make like, a really quick sweater like a maybe a two day long sweater and then make rubber duckies like crochet rubber duckies and then put them on the thing and i think that would be fun to do on like a weekend or maybe over the course of the week i'm not actually sure when i'm gonna have time to film when classes start i also found this beautiful lantern and one of the friends episodes in the back of monica's apartment i tried to take a picture of it a screenshot on hbo max and it wouldn't work so i had to literally take a picture on my phone of my ipad there's another thing that i want to make a sweater that looks like um my bathroom does not have a bathroom mat and i have like this really cute idea that i drew for a bathroom mat and i want to like crochet one and then maybe other home decor. It's good that I plan things like this for me to do because it really helps me like decompress when I get stressed and I get stressed very easily during the school year. Um, and the last thing that I can think of off the top of my head to do is like my um, desk and my and my office is really like bland. I want to do like a whole desk revival. Like my keyboard is broken so I want to get a new keyboard. My desk is also small. I want to get like a mount for my iPad. I want a lot amount for my ipad so that way i don't have to take up extra desk space with using the my ipad as a second monitor i would love to do that and then also i would like to get like some kind of shelves for the walls around me or behind me so that way i don't have to put stuff literally on my desk so if i can find these things for under like 200 dollars total then i think that would be really good i think like my budget for this whole project would be like 300 dollars and I think I could do it too, so. All right, new tab, new ideas, so excited. I'm also gonna be posting like school vlogs because I really love watching them. And I like, I kinda like wanna like look back at my time in school when I'm like, when I'm done and be like, well, look what I, what I was thinking, like look how silly I was. Fun stuff I'm not procrastinating about at all.